All right, welcome back. I got another video today. I'm going to be what I like to call <clears throat> finishing up the livery. Uh, basically, I'm going to be installing my sponsor livery today. Uh, I call it that basically because I have actually a product on the website that is basically just this. You select a bunch of sponsors. I have a bunch of different sizes and placements that I've selected around the car that I think look great. But you can, of course, put them wherever you want. Um, today, I've got a great group of, I call them sponsors, but um, basically it's either companies that have contributed to this car or that have supported me through the years. Um, I think this is one fun thing that I have done throughout the years going to Miata's The Gap since pretty much day one, like seven years or so ago that I've been doing this, is just putting on a sponsor livery uh, on the vehicle, showing support to these different businesses that have shown support to me. Simple as that. So I'm going to go ahead and put on each one and uh, tell a little bit about the company. So I hope this gives you a good insight to some great companies that have done uh, great work in the Miata community that make some really cool parts. Let's get started. <laughs> All right. So you can start at first. Not a sponsor, of course, but I do have my racing numbers um, that I'm going to be adding to this. So basically what I could have done is I could have done any of my magnetic racing numbers would actually work pretty well. Uh, yeah, no, now that I say this. <laughs> so let's just take a look. Over the years, I have accumulated many, many different magnetic racing numbers. Obviously, you can see my number is 95. Um, the significance of this number for me, basically, uh, I've owned three 95 Miatas now. My first one was a 95, the red one. I uh, had a white one that was a 95. And then finally, my 95 M edition Merlot um, was a 95. And for some reason, I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, I had a number before that. It was actually 57. Uh, just a funny one that I thought was pretty cool. Uh, number 57, always playing catch up. Hey. <laughs> but um, if I wanted to... I could just throw on these. Any of the ones would probably work, but yeah, not bad. I don't know. I mean, that would be a pretty cool tribute. As I like to say, <laughs> maybe in poor taste after they've basically broken up, but uh, this is not a race car. It's just a tribute. <laughs> That works kind of well, but it just hits the door line. Damn, I wish it lined up with that better. You know, this would be a pretty cool little throwback to the gold wave. Huh, interesting. You know, I might just keep that. Either anything, I'd just put it on over them. But, you know, let's get started. So putting on racing numbers and all these extra decals and such, the first step I like to do is pretty much place them around the car with blue tape already on them to kind of get a, uh, a good setup feel of where I want these installed. Dang, it really does hit that door line still. That is okay. Still pretty cool looking. It's actually pretty close. I really wanted it to line up with that though. Maybe I'll just have it cut the door line. Hmm. <laughs> that is an unfortunate insight that I had overlooked, but that's okay. I can deal with it. Just being a little bit out of out of line with that, it should still look pretty cool. Uh, no, it almost looks like this yellow is a little bit crooked. I don't want to say that though. But if I'm lining up with the door, bottom of the door, it definitely looks off. This should be fine. All right. So I got the tape on, and same as the windshield banner that I had done a video for the other day, it'll act as a hinge. Now, all of my sponsor decals I've done with a black backing and chrome main design. This one I decided to do reversed. 
which I don't really like to put chrome down first. Chrome vinyl is a little funky. It, uh, it heats up and it can sometimes warp wrap, but my car isn't really kept outside all too much. So I think we should be okay. All right, yeah, that looks pretty sweet. So I'll just start squeegeeing. Uh, also with chrome wrap, it, uh, I usually do a wet install for vinyl like this, but chrome materials don't like water. Oh, there's the bear. Hi, bear. You wanna come say hi? Hi, bear. Say hi to the camera. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. Bear always says hi when she hears me. Here's me doing stuff in the garage, talking to myself, of course. Yeah. All right, so the first number is installed. Let's go ahead and rip this off. See how it looks, see if I got any bubbles. All right, bubble free, way to be, baby. Let's go. Oh, there's one. I have spoken too soon. That's cool though. It should work its way out in a couple of days. I say that, it's not. <laughs> so this is the trouble with overlaid vinyl, is when you're installing it, it has a chance to catch air along the edges of things like that. I might just hide up there. Uh, that's pretty slick though, I dig it. All right. So, I've gone through, like I said, I basically it's taken blue tape, and I've arranged all the sponsor decals how I want them to look on the car. Simple as that. Um, so, let's go ahead and get started and get these suckers installed. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna go through each decal, each company, give a little short bio for them, what they mean to me, so let's do it. All right, let's get started with this. So, first up on the list, We've got Rev Limiter. So Rev Limiter, I mean, if you haven't heard of them, I don't know what rock you're sitting under. <laughs> Maybe you just purchased a Miata, but uh, if you have, definitely check them out. They make a ton of just really great custom uh, custom accessories in general. Uh, you know, I'm pretty sure they started off doing custom gauge faces and HVAC panel plates for NAs, but they've got something for all generation Miatas. Uh, as well as other accessories like front nose badges, uh, custom horn buttons, and we actually offered a bunch through my site as well of uh, what they do. But yeah, Adam with Rev Limiter, Adam Wolf does absolutely great work. If you haven't heard of them, check them out. Really cool freaking company. Dang, I like that. <laughs> I like the chrome. It's looking good. All right, so next up here, we've got LRB Speed. Uh, LRB Speed is ran by Landon and Rebecca Balk, and they are local to me here in Clearwater. I, have, I don't know what I'm doing. That's not how you install vinyl decal. But, and of course, Bear here has to come say hi because she's such a good girl. Yes, yeah, she is. Yes, yeah, she is. Oh, goodness. All right, all right. Let's start over on this again. So. LRB Speed, local to me in Clearwater, uh, makes uh, basically aluminum panels for all sorts of makes and models. They do everything from NAs to NC Miatas, as well as a ton of RX-8, or er, RX-7 stuff, sorry. I believe RX-8 as well. So, um, the only thing we're missing here is the ND Miata. Looking at you, Landon. <laughs> Uh, basically, you know, life is busy. I get it. And we are absolutely going to be putting out something soon. Um, I personally definitely want to drop off this ND Miata to him to prototype some door cards, under trays, all sorts of good stuff. But, uh, yeah, they're awesome. They're out in Clearwater and they make a lot of great, uh, aluminum panels. Um, I paired up with them probably six years ago now. Um, and have been wrapping their door cards in vinyl graphics. Uh, I just had this idea one day, reached out, didn't really know him previously, and we just worked something out. Uh, basically, I'm able to go out there about once a week and do door card pickups for any orders that I do, and 
install graphics as you've seen in, in so many times, but yes, that is LRB Speed, LRBSpeed.com, check them out. <laughs> Next up, uh, we've got Carbon Miata here. I kind of want to move this one up a bit. No, it's okay. It's not crooked. All right. So Car Miata uh, has basically a factory out in China and they have developed all sorts of crazy uh, carbon fiber and fiberglass Miata parts I've used on my cars for freaking years. Uh, before the NA went down, <laughs> I had a pair of their, uh, their taillights, their, their RGB color light dancing taillights they had just come out with at the time. Uh, they canceled the order and uh, well, I ended up doing some different things for this car uh, Obviously, you've seen my spider grill that I have on here uh, as well as uh, oh the quilted floor mats I feel like I've never actually done a video or shown so far But yeah, I have the uh, quilted floor mats I've done on here, but I'm sure you've heard of Carb Miata uh, pretty decent company Make a lot of really unique stuff that you just don't Quite see elsewhere. Again, if you haven't checked them out, check them out. Carbonyada.com. <laughs> yes. Okay, next up we got Tuned by Fab9 Tuning. So Fab9, um, I actually just started working with this year because they do, I, I would say, a majority of NC and ND stuff, but you know, they do a bunch of other things. Um, I picked up an ECU tech. Uh, basically ECU flasher card through them. And uh, Brian Spears had a tune ready to go on it, man. Like he sent it over, we got this thing set up and I was ready to go that day. Uh, it was basically a nice 93 tune that's based on uh, if you've installed different parts for your cars, if you've installed uh, performance parts like headers and intake and exhaust and all this and that, honestly, it's not going to do a whole hell of a lot if your ECU doesn't know what to do with this added power. Um, that is what it is. So get your car tuned and, you know, for NDs and stuff, it just plugs right into the stock ECU. You don't need to replace it like you had to with the old days with, with NAs and NBs that you had to get a whole different ECU. But, yeah, uh, Fab9 Tuning sells a lot of great stuff. Check them out, Fab9Tuning.com. Hope I'm right on that. All right, let me double check this camera. Make sure I'm in sight for the next couple. Oh, I didn't even have my face in that at all. And you also couldn't see Fab9 at all. Sick, sick. <laughs> all right, let's scooch on over here. Cool. Oh. All right, next up on this year's roster, we have got s, s Mazda Parts. The man's name is Alex Todd. He runs the whole dang thing with his entire freaking family, which is absolutely adorable because he's got about three, four daughters and a son. And uh, they've been helping out recently. I know I'm definitely looking forward to seeing the whole gang at Meows of the Gap this year. Um, but they sell, uh, they, they basically buy and part out Miatas all over the, the U.S. Shoot, I mean, if you need something, uh, most likely he'll be traveling to the other side of the freaking country and can actually do pickups and deliveries. Wild. <laughs> the man himself, personality-wise, awesome guy. Absolutely love seeing him every year. Love the man. Um, yes, so, uh, things I've gotten through him through the years, I mean... Anything used that you need. Uh, he actually had a uh, LSD for the Miata, for the uh, ND here. Uh, I ended up picking up. I have not yet installed. It's been months. I haven't had the freaking motivation to do it. And I'm absolutely not going to get to it for the gap. Uh, that is very unfortunate. But it is what it is. S&S Mazda Parts run by Alex Todd. Uh, best way to reach him, honestly, you can just DM on Facebook. Like, uh, you'll, you'll see him around, man. But, yes. Uh, last up here on the door piece, I've got TPP, which equals track prep performance. He, again, is also local here in Largo. 
Um, if you're just getting into Miatas, if you're fresh off, if you want to do track race and all that good stuff, they can help you set up your parts. Um, basically get you what you need to, yeah, get them right lap times, get your car set up just right. Um, it's actually pretty insightful. So, uh, is Sergio with Track Fet Performance, and of course Bear wants to come back and say hi. What? I'm not going to stick it on you. Bam! Oh, okay, okay, I'm sorry, I was mean. Oh, big girl. All right, so we've got a few more. We're heading to the back side. Got the bumper. Of course, make you a little bear. You're a good girl. <laughs> yes, you are. All right, let's move it to the back. So I've got three last livery, or three last decals going on my sponsor livery here. Nap Motorsports, my man just went full-time with this company. Such a big step. He builds, um, well, he builds motors and fabricates different things, uh, whether it be custom exhausts or whatever the heck you need. It's hard to describe because the man's done some really great work in such a short time. Uh, I found him when I was doing my K-Swap. Um, as he had also done a K24 swap in his NA Miata. And recently he's been getting into NC Miatas and he did the uh, popular 2.4. Uh, I'm going to put the question mark. 2.4 conversion, I believe it's called. Uh, the scalpel engine. Yeah. <laughs> um, he's been doing a ton of stuff for the NCs and uh, actually has a complete swap kit for that 2.4 swap. I keep saying 2.4. I hope it's 2.4. I don't know. I don't remember. But yes. Uh, Stephen Knapp, Stefan Knapp with Knapp Motorsports. Uh, great dude. Can't wait to see him this year. Uh, he is based out of New York. So if you are in the New York area looking for something with motors, he's your man. Uh, <laughs> next up. Uh, so the CS sticker. We got CS is a new one this year. Craven Speed. Craven Speed, I actually personally hadn't heard of before until I got into the ND game. Uh, they make a ton of really cool parts. Uh, the one of which they have on my car that was one of my first videos I put out here on the YouTube channel for uh, my ND was doing the shifter build. Uh, they're the ones that built that awesome short shifter kit as well as the shift well. Such a great freaking part. <laughs> Such a good look in the engine bay. Um, yes, Craven Speed. They make a ton of other small things for the ND Miata, as well as I've seen minis and other things of the sort as well. Uh, definitely check them out if you just picked up an ND, CravenSpeed.com. Yeah. And last but not least, I've got my buddy Rob Hutch here with Built by Hutch. He is another local fella who years ago um, I met. I think previously me as the gap before he moved here, um, based in Louisiana, he is now here local to me in Brandon, Florida. And he makes a ton of more un interesting parts as well. Um, so he does custom milling. When I first met him, he did a lot of 3d printed stuff, but he moved a bit away from that. Still miss those 3d printed, uh, NA events that I had back in the NA, but uh, I know one project you just finished up on was uh, developing a mount uh, to put an ND Miata um, AC compressor into an NA, into his NA. He's just finishing up on this, I mean, a week before the gap. I cannot wait to see this come out, um, and he better be selling this freaking part because it is so, so awesome. It's just literally a, a milled billet uh, material freaking part. <laughs> but he makes all sorts of great stuff for NAs, uh, as well as other uh, Miata models. Check them out. Built by Hutch. Instagram, or I believe website as well. Yes. Uh, all right. Last but not least, we'll go up to the front. We got to finish up this, this short video because it's becoming a long video. I don't want it to be that long. All right. Last but not least, we've got the Spinny Woosh sticker. <laughs> of course, I'll have a few of these on the car, but um, 
got to rep my own company on my own sponsor liver or else it wouldn't make much sense. Spinny Woosh has been around since 2014. I started off with a vinyl cutter in my bedroom and <laughs> uh, with a background in uh, advertising and design and everything like that, building websites, uh, I decided to create a brand and start making some vinyl graphic designs and it slowly spiraled from there into what it is today. Um, honestly, I absolutely love what I do. I couldn't imagine doing anything else at this point. And I absolutely thank you all that have been watching this, watching me throughout the years that I've been doing this. 10 years now, by the way. Ridiculous. Still blows my mind. Hi. All right. So that'll do it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed uh, just a little bit of insight to all these companies that have stood by me through the years that I absolutely love and adore. And um, if you want to become, uh, I'm not even going to go that part, cut. All right, cut back in. So I absolutely appreciate y'all for watching these videos and staking with me through all these years. I don't know if you've been here through the beginning or just the recent couple of years. Absolutely appreciate y'all watching these videos. It means a lot to me. Um, thank you for the continued support. I wouldn't be here without you. I don't know what else I'd freaking be doing if I wasn't doing this. Uh, my name's Scott. I run Spinny Woosh, all that good stuff. Uh, like, subscribe. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go eat dinner. It's a long night. So I don't know what the next video will be. I want to say something Miyaz the Gap related since we'll be up there. Um, that's coming up in a week. Uh, I still got quite a few things to do, orders to fill, all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, stay tuned to the next one. Take care.